many questions remain tonight about what caused the fire that destroyed several homes in West Bloomfield this morning. It happened in the Pebble Creek condominiums. Right now, investigators are trying to figure out if it was a child playing with a lighter that sparked that blaze. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live from the complex. And Kim, what are investigators saying about the cause of this? Well, well, Heather, right now the fire marshal says it's too soon to pinpoint a cause. Take a look behind me here at the damage that is visible from the outside. You can see contractors here at the scene trying to secure the homes. And investigators say three units sustain heavy damage. But right now, all four units in the building are unlivable. My neighbors said, get out of your house. My house is on fire. And this is what Hannah Blau and her neighbors saw when they came outside. It was around 10 this morning when a fire in one home here at the Pebble Creek condominium spread to adjoining units. Blau recalls the moment she knew something was terribly wrong. I heard a noise and I looked outside and I saw kids half dressed on my roof. I think I saw two of them on the roof and then jumping down from my garage Onto the ground. Onto the ground. Thankfully, everyone had been able to get out of the house and off of the roof by the time police and fire arrived. This happened off of 14 Mile Road east of Farmington in West Bloomfield. And it wasn't just fighting the fire that proved to be a challenge. The low temperatures are always a challenge for us. We have had uh, one firefighter that's going to uh, seek some medical attention from a slip and fall on the scene. Everywhere you go around the incident because of the, the volume of water that was placed on this fire, it's wet and that water's turning to ice. As for what may have started the fire. Supposedly one of the little children playing with the lighter and lighting a dining room chair. You have little kids around, you're supposed to be watching them. We hope to know some more information very quickly on the, the cause and origin of the fire. What Hannah Blau does know is that so many memories have been destroyed. And my house is beautiful. I can't even imagine being without it. Right now I am feeling absolutely nothing. How I'm going to feel when all of this settles down is a whole different question. Now, one person was treated here on the scene for smoke inhalation. A woman who was living in the home where the fire started declined to comment. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Kim.